Hi, this is Hobie Swan of CS Odessa, and this is part two of using Concept Draw Mind Map to improve your meetings. So today we're going to talk about how you use the same basic map from meeting to meeting to save yourself time, to improve the efficiency of your meetings, and to keep all your projects on track. So the key part to all this is that you give all the people who are part of these meetings access to the meeting map if and when they need to make updates to something they've been assigned to. And, you know, usually that's easy. Everyone agrees it's in a certain folder and they just know to go there between meetings and put in their updates. But you can always send them a link to the map or if it's somebody who's outside your network, you can send them a copy of the map. They can make the updates on that map and then send it back to you and you can just cut and paste the um, topics into the main map. So it's a very quick and efficient way for you to add updates from people who, can't, who aren't actually able to update the map themselves. Um, Okay, so this is basically the map that we saw in part one, where we, uh, all the staff was a participant in the meeting, we introduced some new hires, we had sales reports and marketing reports and next steps. So um, let's say a few, week, a few days have gone by since the first meeting, and uh, you know, you're gonna go in and you've already introduced the new hires, so you can get rid of them. This new uh, meeting, it's gonna be all staff again, the sales team has gone in, they've put in new, uh, they've attached new documents, they've hyper hyper bleh, hyperlinked to new sales reports for U.S. and Europe. You've got, you've still got your uh, hyperlinks to the cold ice and the better s'mores, your new client websites. Um, and now for PetJet, you, you can actually, uh, the, well, the person who's in charge of this account, they can go out, they can link to a file they've been making which is the progress that they've made. So now that's linked. You can open that one up and you see, this is, so this is something the account manager has started since the last meeting. They've had their first contact. Um, they've put in some information about the account. Um, just noted that this actually started back at 12-2 of last year, but they followed up with a letter and Woolsey was hesitant and there's a little note right here that says he was concerned about visibility in Europe. So a little note for the account manager to put in um, some information. And you do these, uh, these notes by using this um, icon up here which says show hide notes. You just click on that and it allows you to put, type in your, um, any, no, anything that's kind of too long and it'll sort of clutter up the map. You can put in that contact and then close it and it'll just be um, kind of hidden and you can roll over it and it'll give you most of what's in there. So you know, so they, Woolsey had this problem they had a phone conversation, made him go from a yellow flag to a green flag, and now he wants to set up an introductory web meeting. So that's great. We'll go back to the main map. Um, main meeting map. Um, so then the person who's in charge of the web campaign, they've gone to their map, which we had last time, and they've added some information to the, their task, which was to create content. They've said that it's finished, they've created it, they've got the rules and the prize and notes. Um, they plan to go live on 4.1. They've attached an Excel sheet of the bloggers that they want to um, alert this, this to. So you can see that in the, in the time between last meeting and the next meeting, people have had a chance to go in to this one central place and add documents, make updates. And so it gives you a really compact view of everything that's gone on um, from meeting to meeting. So um, we've added these updates. We've, we've, you know, we've added some things here. We've added some next steps. Actually, we can say this is going on at this current meeting. We're, we have next steps. We wanna have a global sales meeting. And we're gonna have a kickoff meeting that's gonna be handled by Nick, Deborah, and Sylvia. And you can add some, um, task info, and you can say you want the start of the meeting to be, you want to have the meeting, you know, today's a 10th, so maybe you'll have it in, I don't know, three weeks or something. And the meeting should take two hours, and Nick is going to be the main resource. He's actually done a little bit of planning on this. So let's say um, we've got a little thing here, the thing I showed you before where it tells you how complete it is. And as this goes along, you click on this icon to show the progress that's being made towards your objective. Any other business maybe you've added, um, 
with some information about a security upgrade and a, or excuse me, a printer upgrade and security issues. So you've taken that meeting that you created the last week, you've updated it before the next meeting, and now you have this new map and you're using it to capture all the information what goes on this meeting. So you can see like from week to week, you're able to, um, you know, instead of starting each meeting with just a bare bones agenda or maybe with nothing at all, you can sort of jump right into your progress, right, jump right into your projects, jump right into your sales reports, your clients, your prospects, and you'll really save time with everyone being able to see the same information on the same page. Um, and then you can do things like, you know, after you go through this meeting and make all these updates, you can save it, save this map at, to the date of the meeting and then people will update that. You'll open it up before the next meeting. You'll save it for the new meeting. People will update that. So over time, you can build up a real nice compact re repository of what's, you know, all, actually all the meeting notes from, from a series of meetings. And so like here, I just have this map titled meeting notes. And you see here's a hyperlink to the meeting from last week. I'll do the same thing with this one. So we'll have March 3rd, March 10th, March 17th, March 24th. So I have the series of uh, maps that will show you everything that's gone on in every meeting. So that's really cool. So let's just talk about um, the, the benefits of using concept, concept draw to manage meetings. Um, as I said, you keep projects on track because people are able to um, put in their progress on projects and you can pop them into the meeting map, open them up and give people a real quick update on what's going on in all the different projects that the, the team is associated with. As I said, you don't start meetings from zero. You build on what was accomplished in previous meetings. Um, and this sort of goes along with saving administrative time because you don't have to, you know, somebody doesn't have to sit there and capture meeting notes if you do that at all. Um, they don't have, you don't have to waste administrative time creating the notes. Um, creating a separate notes document and then circulating that around for approval and all that kind of stuff. You know, you're creating your meeting notes in real time as part of the meeting process itself. And because everyone's on the same page, you're catching any disagreements or misperceptions. Um, and so if there are misunderstandings about who's doing what or when they're gonna do it by or what's involved, you know, they can, everybody can see that because you're typing in your notes in front of, you know, for everyone to see. Um, and, and I should say, I should have said at the beginning that I'm presuming that you would project these maps onto a screen or something so everyone can see these ma the maps, the map as it's being built. Um, so you're keeping everybody on the same page. They're catching and correcting any disagreements or misperceptions. And interestingly, it kind of improves engagement because everyone's ideas are included into the map. So if somebody in the back of the room says, yeah, well, I think a better idea would be to do such and such, then you can type that right into the map and they, people kind of go like, wow, that's cool. I'm really part of this process. And it, we've seen that it really does improve um, participation in meetings. And finally, and I think also interestingly, it helps engage non-native English speakers. It helps them understand what's going on in the meeting. It helps them contribute because instead of like, if you handed around meeting notes, which are, you know, pages and pages of sentences and paragraphs, which are it's harder for non-native uh, language speakers to go through a document like that than it is for them to look at a map that's got just a few words, you know, short phrases, short sentences. And so people can really understand what went on in the last meeting, what's going on in this meeting, they can, they can participate more. And also just the use of visual cues helps them understand what's going on. Okay, so those are just a few of the agreements, excuse me, those are just a few of the things that, uh, the ways that Concept Draw Mind Map would help manage your meetings. So stay tuned for more tutorials and see you next time.